Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're doing well today or tonight, wherever you are. Welcome back. It's been a little bit, but we're back. We're gonna continue on with our NHL 24 franchise mode today. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Um, I know we got other stuff to do, but we'll get around to that. Um, as I keep saying. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day or night wherever you are. You hear my cat midnight in the background. He's pretty talkative. Um, he'll meow from time to time. So, um, I apologize for that. If people find that annoying, but not much I can do about that. Um, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, as I said, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to be gaming would be much appreciated. Try and get the viewers up, get the subscribers up. Like, comment, favorite the video, all that type of stuff if you like it. Also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I do new videos. I try to do new videos as much as I can, slash whenever I can. And yeah, uh, I just need to make sure that you guys can hear me with my volume. And uh, we'll get into it. We don't really need to change lines or anything. I think all our lines are still are good, so um just make sure that uh you guys can hear me and we'll rock and roll. And I find out. Just waiting to find out. Just need it to load. And we can get going here. Oh, it's taking forever to load. <laughs> Yeah, so just want to see if you guys can hear me or not. Hopefully you guys can. Yeah, so just want to see if you guys can hear me or not. Hopefully you guys can. There we go. Okay, so, uh, we'll start playing. I just want to make sure again. Okay, so, uh, we'll start playing. I just want to make sure again. Uh, just because it sounded like there's, like, extra talking in the background. Yeah, it's like repeating what I'm saying for some reason. That's messed up. Yeah, I don't understand that. I think I think I just need to close the. Th uh, thing, but anyway, let's uh, just play. Might be a messed up video where what I say gets repeated throughout the whole video, so. Um, yeah, we're gonna just uh, play. Have some, oh no, we don't want this jersey though. Midnight! Come here! Knock it off! I 
Alright, hold on everyone. I'm just gonna feed my cat real quick because it's just whining like no tomorrow. Hopefully he'll stop for a bit for a bit after this. Okay, they're both fed. <laughs> My cats are both fed. Um, we'll get into this now. Alright. Oh, moving. There we go. Get back into the race. Just trying to get back into it. Final game of what has already been a great road trip for this team, and they'll try to pick up a couple more points. <coughs> enough talk, enough height. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Penguins will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. The Leafs to play from the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's through center right now in the offensive end. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Denied by the goaltender. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Matthews is notorious <coughs> for his shock and awe zone ability, which is his skill deking to get into a scoring position and then put it away with a quick shot. Crosby's known for scoring <coughs> with his beauty backhand zone ability because it's hard for goalies to read. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Penguins win the defensive zone faceoff. From the left side, takes the pass. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Graves is tired of this scoreless drought, and sometimes you just have to trust the process. You know that's what the coach is saying. Unfortunately, you don't want to hear it as an athlete. You just want to get an apple or have one drop for you. Hammers one at the net. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Directed over to the premier. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Hard hit frees up the puck. Centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Fires it. There's back-to-back -back saves. Carries the puck up along the wing. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Ah. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. <coughs> we haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. So much time in practice working on D-zone face-offs, and this is exactly why coming off an icing, you win it, and you have the opportunity to get out and get a change. Pittsburgh's got it in the wrong zone. Latang's <laughs> across the line now, and on the attack in the offensive end. And that carries off a body in traffic. Here's a blast! Comes over to make a save! Like the play? He looks deep <laughs> to the Frenier. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Uh, I usually... Well, to Eller. Looks to well, pass it to yeah. Pedersen. I don't know. <laughs> Quick pass to Latang. Toronto's looking 
Yeah, I usually uh, just just something I just kind of do by myself. Unfortunately, sorry, man. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone, and that's hooked away. Here he is in front. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop! All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy. Not that I wouldn't want to. Just something I have always done by myself. So I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But this is what it is. There we go. We get a goal. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy Having on his stick. That as he's third able line to had that like in the net. three ramping well, here. has got to clean that up, though. That one has got kicked really, right back uh, out. changed things. Toronto's done a nice job staying with their game, and it finally pays off here, Cheryl, with a goal. Yeah, when you trust the process and you stay to task, this is exactly what happens. You have good habits, you find a way to get it done, and you execute. Now you got to build on it. you got to find a way to get another one and continue on with consistency. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Play with a stick, nicely done. Matthews has the puck against the half wall. Oh. Bruino's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. That's exactly what I need at this time. So now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they've got to be the task. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the feed. Puts it on net. And that one's turned away. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Riley's playing with such confidence right now. And he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Eller's ready to take the draw here on this power play. And off the faceoff, they take possession. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Rust. Oh, he caught him! Uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing. Oh! And they convert on the power play. Now they do the penalty because they were competing and they were urgent on the puck chains. And then the same the coach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it. And guess what? They're rewarded for their efforts. I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. More than half the frame has been played here. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Carter's won the draw. Graves plays it against the boards. And sends it just out of reach. Feeds the puck over to McTavish. Got to figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. That's blocked by the Dukovic. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Toronto's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now trying to gain a step. Toronto's won the draw. Scooped up along the wall by Carlo. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Haig. Here we go. Break away. Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game. And this is a one-on-one -on -one battle. And this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at. And he wins it. Slides it quickly to Matthews. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Riley. Slides it over with his oh, spectacular save right there. Wow! Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last ditch at 
attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. And as play continues, listen to these fans. He's starting to get loud. Recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. Back underway, and they take possession here and know how to lead the charge and really change any momentum swing in the game. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. He knows how to score. It's the reason why he's their leading scorer. The Penguins take the lead after that last goal. And Cheryl, what do you wait for here now? Do you uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or do you look for the continued push attack? Uh, you got to continue to push attack. There is way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum, and put your opponent on their heels. Period and close. Oh, denies them with the counter save. Sydney, Sydney the Leafs must be feeling a little snake bitten, trailing in the late stages of the first. Crosby's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Quick pass across to Lafreniere. Shot! It, it. Shot! Just slide! Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. Heard it, one section 44 on the concourse. Be better on face offs. Okay. <coughs> Seeds teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Here we go. Middle frame now underway. <laughs> well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Jokovic has been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Toronto's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. Crosby's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Angles it over to Carlson. The Penguins take it along the wall. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Carlos lugging the puck. And that pass attempt is deflected. Quick feed to Gensel. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Centering pass. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Here's the chance on the attack. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. For the right wing, he moves it to the middle. <coughs> Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Nedeljkovic is going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. Now the goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play. He elects to hold on. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And now it's over to Nylander. Toronto's got it along the wall. 
Moves it to Latang. Great pressure with the stick. Oh, come on. Hot moved over to Raquel. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. The Penguins gain possession. Feeds the puck to Pedersen. <coughs> Big hit, and that frees up possession. The Leafs have it now. Picked up along the boards by Nylander. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And he takes the feed. And now he tries to get it across to Rust. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oh, you got it. away. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Gets his stick on it. Stones him in front. And he slides it quickly to Graves. Sends the pass over. Big time defensive play. Break away. Oh, the save of the play. And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive tracks the puck and makes the save. And there's the save. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Well, another sellout here inside the arena tonight. And Cheryl, I got a question for you. You know who likes a winner? Everyone, Everyone likes a winner. winner. Yeah. I think I had that tagline, no problem. And this entire building loves a winner, and that's why they're here. They've been following their team who's been doing so many things well, in particular their energy and dictating the pace right from the get-go. You can feel it. It's electric and passionate in here. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Now over to Malkin. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Pokes the puck away. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Great reach with the puck check. Here's a short pass to Crosby. Malkin's been so dangerous tonight, James. He scored the go-ahead goal, and he's got the puck on his stick now. Toronto's in transition. Takes it to the front, and he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Carter. The Leafs have it from their own end. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Nothing doing. Pokes it away in his own end. Quick feed to Smith. Back to the blue line. Great read on the block. Toronto's in on the offensive attack now. Can pull the trigger. Right on the doorstep. And not much on that one. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Mm. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. The Penguins win the draw. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Now's your chance to play clean. Draw your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the recycling bins throughout the arena. Thank you, fans, for joining us. Players are set. Officials are set. Third period action is coming up. Final frame is underway here. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. 
Look at this, two on one. What a play, that's how you do it on defense. And he takes the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Vulcan. Shot, handles that one. Hammers the shot, denies him again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Stopped by the goaltender. And now he passes up to Malkin. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Malkin. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Denies him with a save. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Penguins have certainly subscribed to the quantity theory offensively tonight. They lead it and have been busier in the offensive zone. Tavares wins the faceoff in his own end. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Moves it to Nylander. Grabbed along the board by the Frenier. The Leafs carried along the wall. Great reach with the poke check. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Slides it on over to Raquel. Skates to the crease, and that goes wide. Steps in with the block. Let's see what the official says here. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take the penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Ottinger's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Pittsburgh's won the draw. And that's knocked away. Toronto's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Gains the zone along the right wall. A centering chance! Couldn't complete the pass! Crosby's got it in the corner. Hammers a shot! That's blocked! The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. And that's intercepted by Malkin. The Penguins are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. And that goes off a player. Toronto's got the puck shorthanded. Here they come up along the wing. And that's just out of reach. And he gives it over to Carlson. Crosby's got the puck in his own zone. Great puck check on the reach. Taken along the wall by Smith. Takes the shot. Here's a shot. Oh, close save and a beauty. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. A great kill and the ability to keep this... Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Whoever has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Takes a shot. And that goes off the player in front. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Takes the pass. Score! Oh, you could just feel this one coming, couldn't you, James? I mean, they're on the power play, and what an effective one it was. I mean, they are pressuring all over the ice. Even when they lose it, they are first on retrieval, just hounding it, and they wore the PK unit down. They looked for their moment, and they converted. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Nylander's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Puck picked up by Tavares. Fantastic save! Videlkovic has had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. They go on the attack. 
through center. The Leafs take over on possession. Takes a shot and makes a save. Steps inside the line. Moves it quickly over to Raquel. And he turns that one aside. Matthews plays the puck. And now it's grabbed by Marner. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Smith. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Past the midway mark of the frame. Pittsburgh's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Penguins take possession after that neutral zone face-off. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. You can almost hear the sighs on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. Here's the puck. This is a golden opportunity there. And he slides it quickly to Robertson. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Solid check to slow him down. Crosby's picking up steam. And he takes the feed. Gets in front of it. The Leafs will kill off a few extra seconds now. To his teammate! Takes the feed at the point. Oh, and stays out as he gets a piece of that one! The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. The Panthers are up next on the schedule, and I hear tickets are still available. A few select seats, so get them now. It should be a good one coming up. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Quick pass to Lawton. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Hammers the shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. The Penguins are on the attack. Moves it to Latang. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you got to make good on a chance like this. This is just... Tons of great looks in a game, and this one is a missed opportunity as the puck goes off the frame and out. Latang's moving it ahead. Looks to set up at the point now. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Carries it across the line. Still has possession. Smith's taking it from his own end. And he lowers the boom there. Denied by Ottinger. Tonight, who had the better performance? I just hope they throw him hit for it no more. In tonight's matchup, guys, the deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. And he had the answer on that play. Sends it over to Marner. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Scooped up along the wall by Rust. The Penguins played along the boards. Slick feed. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it to the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Moves it quickly over to Janssen. Takes the feed. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Tavares. And he puts that one aside with ease. Final seconds of this one in the home. continue to lead late in the third. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Pittsburgh's effort top-notch tonight. Cheryl, what stood out for you? Now their power play, I mean, it was so effective. Their ability to move the puck around the outside, get the coverage to move exactly where they wanted to, and then attack. It was seamless. First star of the game is Danny Malkin. Pittsburgh Penguins, 1-0-0 assist.
zero hits. Second start of the game, Pittsburgh Penguins, Ryan Ross, one goal, one assist, zero hits. And first start of the game, Pittsburgh Penguins, Alex Nedeljkovic, only one goal allowed, 22 saves. Final score of the game, Pittsburgh Penguins, three, Toronto Maple Leafs, one. Meow. Mm. Mm. Well, not our best performance. Well, we did okay, but not what we we're hoping for. Not the result we we're hoping to get, I should say. We need points. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough. I think I put myself in a bad position. Time. Okay. Almost there, guys. So we're catching up. It's okay. Here we go. Games against the comp are the games against the division. Here we go. Ten points back. Damn. Alright, well, hopefully this game goes better for us. We need to play better. Kind of Jake Ottinger. Oh my goodness, man. Stop it! Midnight. Come here. Sorry, everyone. Come here. Alright. Anyway, let's get into this. 
Gotta bounce back. Bounce back in. It's okay to lose one. The, the best is... The thing is to not let it turn into losing streaks. That's how we got to look at this. throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Leafs are first to light the lamp tonight, and let's see where it goes from here. There's been some back-and-forth action, and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Reinhardt's been nabbed for tripping. <laughs> Matthews wants to take advantage of this power play here, guys. His zone ability could be the catalyst that helps the team find the back of the net. So let's see what he can do here. They win the face-off here in their own end to take possession. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they get the puck out of they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Along the half wall with the puck. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Centering pass. Misses it in. Florida's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Puck dumped in, and the forwards go for a change. Works it across to Lafreniere. The Leafs looking against the half wall. And that doesn't reach the net. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Matthews looks around. Quick pass to Lafreniere. That's off a stick. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Reinhardt's almost ready to get back on the ice. The Leafs failed to capitalize on the power play. 
Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They got to be better. Oh, there's one more! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Here they come on the rush. Lead pass ahead. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. There's the whistle as the goalie yeah. hangs on. A reminder the team store Not really a good power play online, there, but... 365 online, but don't forget right, you can also better. visit their uh, location in person at the arena. Open seven days a week. Check it out. Some very cool stuff to get your hands on these days. Right. Huge steal at his own end. The Panthers move to the offensive zone. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Carlos stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to Nylander. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The center feed. And that's intercepted. Gains the zone from the right side. Quick shot. Puck goes out of play. We got a faceoff coming up. Riley's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you got to be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. The Leafs have done a great job moving their feet tonight, and they lead here midway through the first. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Barkov's got him along the wing. Denied by Ottinger. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. He's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone right here. Picked off by Forsling. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Florida's got the puck in their own end. Now a quick pass to Reinhardt. Great read with the stick. Big time stop. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Pass to Reinhardt. Moves it quickly over to Eckblad. Denies him with the save. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Here in the late goings of the period... 1-0 the score. The Leafs win the draw here in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Nylander. Has the front. Takes the blast. Too many bodies in the way. Here's a short pass to Ekblad. And now he angles it across to Dalpy. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he denied that opportunity. Tries to get it over to Tavares. Fires it on net with the stop. Grabbed along the boards by Ekblad. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. And he makes the save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Cousins won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Through center along the wing. Quick feed to Lomberg. And he takes a shot. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our match. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we've got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? been running around and chasing the game look very disorganized out there not aggressive and giving their opponent way too much time with the puck quick pass to Barkov taken along the wall by Carlo great pass from the left wing turned aside with the glove in front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender 
Taylor covers things up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Florida's got the win off that draw. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Lafreniere has got it in the defensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Nylander. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. It's a two-on-one. Across the line. Tonight on the play. Oh, wow. And he slides it quickly to Montour. And he puts it into his own net. Uh, of course I would. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. The Panthers have even things up here in period number two. We got ourselves a new game. Yeah, you love these games that go back and forth, and they've worked hard to get to this point, and now they got the equalizer. Giddy up. And off the draw, they kick the puck. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The Leafs have it now. Keeps possession on the play. Tavares setting up against the wall. Toronto's got the puck in the corner. Oh, it was right there on the one-timer, but the stick breaks. Well, and a perfect setup and a great pass, and it just explodes as it comes off a stick. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Riley. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Great pressure on the offensive end by Eflat. And makes the save. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We got a tie game. Rodriguez has won the draw inside his own end. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. The Panthers played along the wing. Oh, what a bad save by Ottinger. Toronto's got it across the line. Pass it through. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Florida's looking to break out. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Eflat. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Delphi's got it against the boards. A little crash and unbounding forces the turnover. Grabs it in his own end. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Off a stick and they can't connect. Moves it to Kulikov. From the neutral zone now. Moves it quickly over to Asplund. Transfer signs. Sensational stop with the stick by Ottinger. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's all tied up. Here's a short pass to Forsley. And there's a whistle after that big-time shot. I think it busted the glass. Yeah, it didn't shatter, though. It's amazing today with the new technology of the sticks and the way these players shoot the puck that it didn't just blast and shatter and explode. Instead, it's a crack, so the maintenance crew will come out and they'll just replace the panel. The Panthers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Picked up along the boards by Lumber. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. On the attack along the boards. Scrum along the wall. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Quick feed to Cousins. Coughs it up at center. The Leafs will play it from the corner. Robertson's got it along the boards. Toronto's going to play it from the corner. Here's a pass in front. And that goes off a stick. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Getting into the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. The Leafs get a hold of the puck off the draw. 
with possession along the wall. The Leafs have it behind the net. Lafreniere is going to play into the corner. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Verhoeven. That goes wide. He really bared down on his stick on that one. He got the velocity behind it, but it was nowhere near the net. He got all of that hit. Toronto's got it in the own zone. Here's a shot, and he was ready for that save. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. And now he moves it quickly to Matthews. The Leafs take it along the wall. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop on the paddle. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Handles the puck from the left side. Quick pass from Mr. Ryan. And he makes the save on that play. And there's another stop. Ottinger has been outstanding tonight. James and he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Oh, and come on. Is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a oh default and is goodness. battling to find the puck. That's Can't brutal. find it and beats him clean. Florida's gone up by one here late in period number two. Now to see if they can build on this when they get to the third. Well, that one to pounce right off this face-off, James. They've had a ton of urgency in the fat last few Always shifts, and they found a way to score, get the go-ahead goal here. They're going to need to really work hard to hold the lead because you know that their opponent, left. they're going to have a bit of urgency here. Hey, fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we're welcoming all of our minor hockey kids here at Tennessee. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Toronto's put in a strong effort tonight, James, and there's 20 minutes left, so there is some runway to claw their way back into this game, especially when they dominated possession time. Now, this can be frustrating at times when you feel like you're holding the puck and you're going nowhere, but at the end of the day, it's all about cashing in right now and what you can do in these last few shifts to make a difference. Answer the call on that play. Big stop by the keeper. The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. Look at this thing. Got some bodies here on the attack. Oh, a clutch save. Let's it rip. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Take it along the wall by Marner. The Leafs will play it against the boards. There's a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. They are really dialed in here tonight. Takes a shot. The same. The Leafs gain the zone. Puts it on net. Takes that one right in the logo. And we're going to get a whistle here. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Florida's got a slim lead. They lead it 2 1. Reinhardt's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Ekblad's going to play it against the half wall. They gain the zone from the left side. Shot! Monster save by Knight! I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Janet's got the puck. Here's a chance in front. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Toronto's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Picks off the feed. Bennett's got it along the boards. Shot! Gives them nothing in front. Domi's lugging the puck. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to the rents. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, breaks it off the outside. Lorenz attempting to find his touch again around the net as he has hit the bar a number of times. Man, is he frustrated. Ah, good to see you. Ben is starting to cut out the pressure here now. Oh, what a save. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on and give his team a breather. Face-off coming up here in the attacking 
zone. Well, they'll want to put their foot on the gas pedal here, sensing that the goaltender's overworked right now, and let's face it, he can't change. The Panthers take possession off the faceoff. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Here's a pass to the middle. Can't connect on the play. Scooped up along the wall by Rodriguez. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dalpy. The Leafs have it against the wall. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Seattle's up next on the schedule. Tickets still available. Go to the box office, or you can get them online. Past the midway mark in this period. It's 2-1. Picked up along the wall by Fitzgerald. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Picked off. Florida's got it in their own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Carlo. Here's a chance. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. The, the Leafs have it now. Feeds the puck up to Haig. The Panthers gain possession along the wall. Florida's moving it up the ice. Picked up along the boards by Montour. Moves it quickly over to Asplund. Oh, what a save in front. Ottinger's able to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's a beautiful one. Scores! Matthew Kachuk! team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Barkov's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Sends it in front! And that doesn't connect! Ottinger's got it, and he's gonna hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carlin Bade. Kachuk's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Off the mask of the goaltender, boy, right between the eyes. I don't think he had time to get his head out of the way, and that one hits his mask. You gotta give it to the quality of mask nowadays. Did that happen a few years ago? That one hurt even more. Moves the puck down low. Here's a shot. Scores! It's in the back of the net. Uh, I'm not sure about this, James. I think this is getting waved off due to the high stick. This is always a tough call for the official. It says it's the eye test, the real eye test. But that stick, I don't know if it hit the puck above the crossbar. I'm expecting a review here. Face-off coming up here, and they certainly look hungry to answer back after that non-goal call. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Moves the puck to the attacking area. The Panthers look to start the transition game. They've got numbers here, and that pass goes off the stick. Puck grab by Haig. Takes the feed from his own end. Fast and quick, lead pass. Good use for the body on the play. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. The Panthers have it now. Nice zone entry from the right side. Toronto's looking to swing the puck behind the net. Good read with the stick to break that off. Uses the force on that hit. Oh, and the buzzer of big save. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Florida's attack first mentality really on display tonight. And Cheryl, a huge reason why they won. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you here, James. I mean, there's multiple ways to attack the net. But when you're shooting it, you're also disrupting coverage on the rebounds. And that's what they did Here's extremely well. Game. They were very Charmic effective, and they finally William put it by. And, uh... Well, hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night. Second star for the Panthers. Spencer Knight.
And as I said, third star, Toronto Maple Leafs, William Nylander. First star, Florida Panthers, Brandon Montour, one goal, one assist. I don't know how many hits he had. Nylander had a goal. Final score of the game, Florida Panthers 3, Toronto Maple Leafs 1. Anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna try not to let this bug me, cause now I'm getting, I'm already getting annoyed that I lost twice in a row. So, um, yeah, <laughs> best not to uh, get pissed off and shit like that. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed watching. Hope you had a good day or night, wherever you are. And as always, uh, like and subscribe to B-Gaming. It'd be much appreciated. Trying to get the viewers up, get the subscribers up. Like, comment, favorite the video, all that type of stuff if you like it. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I'm doing new videos. Try to do new videos as much as I can, slash whenever I can. Like I said, like, I, I just, I just don't want to get mad, so... Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see you next time, but, uh, yeah, like I said, like and subscribe, like, comment, parrot the video, hit the bell icon, you know what to do, <laughs> anyways, take care. Stay safe, and until next time, hey.